The Kyoto House, a centuries-old abode housing a family, stands as a testament to time's passage and the unique blend of history and ambience it carries. During its renovation, preserving the essence of this dwelling became paramount, rather than eradicating its heritage, the goal was to enrich and refine it, infusing a touch of Ukrainian vibrancy within a Japanese setting. This approach led to the preservation of numerous authentic elements within the Kyoto House, such as the original tatami mats and textured clay wall surfaces. The result is a harmonious convergence of cultural influences, inviting visitors to immerse themselves in a distinctly curated experience. The owner extends an invitation to partake in Sado, a tea ceremony within the humble confines of this remarkable dwelling. This invitation is an embrace of cultural exchange and a testament to the warmth and hospitality inherent in such traditions. The journey into the Kyoto House begins with the Roji, a small tea garden embellished with Japanese ritual stones and adorned with Ukrainian Dido art sculptures from the Makno workshop. These elements serve not only as aesthetic embellishments but also as guardians, warding off negative energies and unwelcome thoughts. The significance of the Roji Garden lies in its ability to captivate visitors, compelling them to pause and appreciate the restrained beauty it exudes. As guests proceed, the slightly ajar door signifies a welcoming gesture, inviting them into this enchanting world. Stepping into the Gen Can, the entryway of a Japanese house, guests are prompted to remove their shoes, leaving them turned until their departure. This act sets the tone for respect and cultural adherence. Moving further, guests are greeted by a space adorned with collectible Japanese and Ukrainian artworks, complementing the gracious presence of the owner. The house seamlessly combines aspects of Shoinzukuri, a design style originating from the dwellings of Zen monks and samurai in the 15th to 16th centuries, characterized by shoji sliding doors and rice paper partitions. This style embodies the quintessence of Japanese interiors, etching an indelible image in the minds of those who envision traditional Japanese spaces. Amidst leisurely conversations, the host ushers guests towards the heart of the Kyoto house, the tea room or chishitsu. Once a bedroom, it now stands as an authentic tea room imbued with the wabi-sabi spirit, boasting new tatami flooring and Japanese washi paper accents. Within this sacred space, the focal point is the aro, a specialized fire for preparing tea, a perpetually lit source of warmth and tradition. Here, guests witness the owner's deft handling of a hanging teapot, a testament to their expertise and dedication. The tea ceremony transcends idle chatter, prompting guests to delve into a state of meditation, directing their focus towards the tokonoma. This alcove, revered in Japanese homes, holds objects guiding guests on their tea journey, steeped in the wisdom of wabi and sabi, expressions of restrained beauty and the ephemeral nature of time. The tea master orchestrates each movement with precision and purpose, elevating the ceremony beyond a mere ritual to a spiritual experience akin to a prayer liturgy. This practice serves as an active meditation, a sensory encounter, and the highest form of communication, a sentiment encapsulated in the host's assertion that the art of tea is the art of life. Sado, the Japanese tea ceremony, traces its roots to the 16th century, embodying a deeply ritualized and meditative experience encapsulating harmony, respect, purity, and tranquility. Throughout history, it has remained a cornerstone of Japanese spiritual life, fostering connections and cultural continuity across generations. The Master guides guests through this ceremonial path, offering the life-affirming elixir in Chawan cups, an embodiment of wabi-sabi aesthetics, characterized by handleless ceramic vessels crafted by hand, exemplifying simplicity and perfection within imperfections. The aging of these vessels imbues them with greater value, for their history breathes life into their very essence. The conclusion of the tea ceremony unveils the master's collection of Japanese artistic ceramics from diverse schools and periods, featuring prized creations from Bidzen and Shigaraki, steeped in historical significance and craftsmanship. Bidzen ware, hailing from Okayama Prefecture, boasts a unique charm derived from its reddish hues and slightly glossy textures, a product of centuries-old firing technique sans glaze. Shigaraki ware, rooted in Shiga Prefecture, stands out for its coarse clay firing method in wood kills, resulting in robust, 
golden-hued vessels adorned with irregularities and a distinct aroma, epitomizing the ethos of wabi-sabi. Alongside these distinguished Japanese ceramics, visitors encounter Ukrainian ceramics, represented by the Dido family meticulously handcrafted by hereditary potters at the Makhno workshops. These exquisite pieces pay homage to a more than 3,000-year-old tradition of Ukrainian zoomorphic ceramics, astounding global audiences with their craftsmanship and legacy. The art collection housed within the Kyoto House showcases a symphony of diverse and understatedly exquisite artworks, captivating guests in an ambience that transcends time. As twilight descends upon the dwelling, guests find themselves entranced by the intricacies of Dido sculptures, while the host prepares their futon, setting the stage for the evening Sado, a culmination of cultural richness and immersive experiences within the Kyoto House's hallowed walls.